All right, classic calculus problem. What's if the limit? It, it's saying find the limit of this. Find this if f of x equals that. This is called the difference quotient. So this is just a big algebra nightmare. What you're going to do is just plug and chug. The limit as h goes to zero of now take that, that's f of x, so what's f of x plus h? Plug in x plus h everywhere that you see x. So what is f of x plus h? It is 3 times x plus h squared minus 2 times x plus h. That's this part right there. I'll color code this. Minus f of x, so that's minus, now use parentheses, 3x squared minus 2x, all over h. So what's the limit of this? Well, now let's just simplify it all. Switch back to blue. So to simplify all that, I'm going to first distribute that. So that's 3. So it's the limit as h goes to 0 of 3 times. That's going to FOIL out to x squared plus 2xh plus h squared, right? Minus, distribute that negative 2x in. Be careful with that negative. That's what most people forget. 2x minus 2h. Don't forget that negative. Minus, distribute that negative in to both 3x squared plus 2x. Got it? All over h. So now let's distribute this in. So that becomes 3x squared plus 6xh plus h, sorry, plus 3h squared. Notice what happens with these things right here. That negative and that positive, sorry, that positive and that negative cancel out. So I'm going to have minus 2h minus 3x squared still. That and that are going to cancel out. I can now factor an h out of all three of these things. Remember, this was all over h. When I, and it's, it's the limit as h goes to zero of that. So when I now take this right here and factor out an h, I get 6x plus 3h minus 2 all over h. Those h's cancel. Remember, that's the limit. And so this is the limit as h goes to zero of 6x plus 3h minus 2 all over, well, not all over anything, just that. And when I now I can plug in zero, and that gives me 6x minus 2. And that's my answer. Thank you. Now, you'll learn later the shortcut, and when you learn it, you're going to be cursing out your math teacher's name for not showing it to you. But there's a really quick and easy shortcut, because this is called the derivative of f of x. That's what that's called. It's the derivative.